You know, I think that there are fewer and fewer role models out there. And um, to me, you know, a role model is, is really someone who is, is passionate and um, about following their dream um, and also um, able to make mistakes and learn from them um, and isn't perfect. Um, one of the things, it, by the way, playing Amelia, it's very difficult to find her imperfections. She was extraordinary in, in so many ways. Um, if anything, you know, m I would say that she had a hard time um, um, sharing her feelings, sharing what she was, what was going on. She was a very private person. And I think, you know, um, as she neared the end of her life, when she didn't know it was the end of her life, when she was 39, she, she started opening up to George Putnam, played by Richard Gere. Um, and then all of a sudden her life was over. And it's kind of interesting how life does that. You know, all of a sudden you kind of figure out what it's about and then it's over. Um, but I, I do find that one of the things that was the most inspiring to me about Amelia, and I think that what a lot of people are drawn to, was that not only was she living her dream and um, achieving so much, but she um, really made no apologies for living her life the way she wanted. And I think that if she was living in 2009, she would be ahead of her time now. Mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that that's a, a human race is one of the biggest challenges for people. I feel the most alive when I'm acting, no doubt. And I first discovered it when I was nine years old and we had a teacher, I had a teacher who had us write a skit and perform it in front of the class. And there was no doubt that that was my calling and something that I should have been doing. I didn't know at the time that I could become a professional actor, but just something inside of me happened. You know, that thing that just brings you so much joy. And to this day, you know, how many years later, I'm now 35 and I, Every time I get the opportunity to to be on a set and do what I love, I'm filled with so much joy. That's so great. Yeah, it's really, really a blessing. I'm really thankful. Absolutely. I get to walk in so many different shoes, you know? I get to see life through so many different eyes, too. You know, something that I talk about being an actor is like having a hundred different careers. An aviatrix, a boxer, a transgendered person, a teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, you just think of all the things I get to learn in depth. Do you know you're constantly, um, you know, there's there are things that are constantly said about you, um, and I find it, you know, not great to read anything about yourself. It's it's just it's unhealthy to hear, you know, the pros, the cons, and the pros. It's you know, you, there's always going to be someone who's prettier than you. There's always going to be someone who's you know really talented, and there's. Um, you just kind of have to continue, I think, down your road and make sure that you're working as hard as you can and doing the best job you can and take from the experience um, and know for yourself um, what could have been better or not. Do you know what I mean? And, and also, I have so many people around me that, whose opinions I trust and, and um, everyone's gonna have an opinion, you know? So I really listen to the people who are close to me and, and, um, and, and, and try and carry that with me and learn from those things. You know, the thing about Amelia is that she was very open about her life. You know, George Putnam asked her to um, marry him many times, and she said no many times. And then finally, when she did decide to marry him, she, for lack of a better word, I think wrote a prenup. And in her prenup, she said, you know, we shouldn't keep each other from having our desires in um, if we don't find happiness within the first year and you know all the things that you see in the film were real I and mean, that's a, in in that's documented i think that you know one of the the most difficult things about a relationship is even knowing what you want out of a relationship i don't think most people even know um, um, and then being able to ask for what it is that you want and saying this is what you can expect from me in a relationship is really rare and um and really beautiful i think that's something that we just aspire to, whatever it is. If it's monogamy, great. Mm -hmm. If it's not, great. It's different for everybody. You know, I don't, I don't look at scripts um, necessarily like a studio would or even a professor would of, of, of screenplays. Um, I, I look at scripts for um, the story and, and then if the character challenges me. Um, you know, I can't really describe it. It's something that happens you know, it's a feeling. It either lights a fire inside of me and scares the heck out of me, you know, um, like, can I do this? 
um, or I just don't really feel anything, it can be, it doesn't mean it's a bad script, it just doesn't mean that I'm really right for it if I don't feel that in, in my gut. I, if, if there's something about it that I find um, enticing and I can't stop thinking about it, usually I'll, I'll, if there's a filmmaker on board already, I'd sit down with the filmmaker, I'd take a meeting, hear their opinion about it, hear how we can make it better and, um, and kind of go from there. It's definitely a process.